Hello and welcome everyone. Today I have come up with a topic which have been asked to me a lot many a times. I had kept on hold to discuss on this topic for a while. I thought like this is a very simple topic and but I, I see like a lot of comments being coming out and being asked like what is the difference between MT103 and MT202. And here I am with the discussion on this. So let's get started. All right, so uh, first of all, let's understand on this MT103. MT103 is a single customer credit transfer payment message. Basically what it means is there is a customer which can be a individual customer or a normal customer or a corporate customer, right? Who can initiate the transaction for a, another customer who is also a individual customer or a corporate customer, right? For example, uh, one of the company in France and Gabin can send out the payment to a normal customer like me or you as a normal customer, or they can directly send out a payment to a corporate customer itself, like uh, uh, Reliance Industries, etc. Right. So those kind of payments are called as a single customer credit transfer payment. So here only one credit is happening to one customer. There isn't any multiple customer credit happening. Only one customer is being sending to one customer, right? Here, the bank receives this payment initiation message, right? Uh, request from any of the banking channel, which they provide like connect banking or mobile banking, et cetera. That becomes a payment re initiation request as to, to a bank. And then uh, on receiving that request, they will send out this MT103 message. Whereas MT202 is a general financial institution transfer message. What exactly it means is it is used by a financial institution or bank to make a payment to another financial institution or bank. Here, there is no involvement of a customer, ordering customer, right? There isn't any channel required to initiate the payment, right? And it's initiated between the two banks. MT103, uh, in MT103, beneficiary is the customer. As I told you, it can be a corporate customer or a normal customer. In MT202, the beneficiary itself is a bank, right? It is a bank itself. In MT103, we have charges involved. You, if you remember this MT103 tag, you will have the 71A and 71F or 71C. Where 71A is used for the charges type, which will be bent, say, or hour. Whereas MT202 doesn't have this field available in, in it. And that's why there isn't any charges for this MT202 messaging between the two banks. Now it can send, uh, MT103 can send remittance information, regulatory reporting information in the message as it has this stack 70 and uh, Tag 77 as well, but it doesn't have in, in an empty 202. We do not have these tags, and thereby you cannot send this information in any of the tags in empty 202. Now, empty 103 has two subtypes, which is empty 103 STP and empty 103 remit, whereas empty 202 has one subtype, which is called as empty 202 cover, right? This is just the basics of what I teach over here in the YouTube. If you want to learn more on this payment, then what you can do is you can reach out to us and then we have multiple courses to offer, right? I'll just show it to you. So we have multiple courses which we can, which we offer to our students wherein you learn the payments basics and payment swift empty messaging and then swift uh, iso 2022 migration related aspect so by by this time we have already uh, helped many of our students to get placed right so after going through these courses they have ensured that they have cracked multiple interviews and as of now we have uh, got to know, got the news that 35 students have got the job in this uh, it industry into the payment so mostly into business analysis testing and so on so we have offline batch uh, courses available wherein you'll get the course videos for both Swift payment course and ISO 2022 course, right? So both, uh, if you sum it up, it will be around 36 to 38 hours of videos which you get it. Uh, 
and individually if you want to buy it it will cost swift payment it will cost you 5000 and iso 2022 it will cost you 10000 rupees but if you uh, together buy it then it will cost you 12000 wherein we give you discount of 3000 rupees for that you can just email us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and we will reach out to you with the necessary information and the payment details and then how you can get the video access and other than that we also provide you the converted tools which will help you to understand on the basics of how empty messages are converted into the mx messages and what are their mappings a lot of information on it so a lot of students have utilized these courses in their you know uh, career switching or within the organization to move into the different part or to move into the business analysis so it's it's very beneficial as the world is migrating into ISO 2022 by 2025 November. It's a golden era for the payment learners and the payment prospectors that you can make use of it till 2025 November. It is a beautiful opportunity for everyone who are into payment sites or who want to move into payment site to you know grow the career into it. So I would be looking out for more candidate to inquire on it and. This is all for today's videos and I'll see you next time.